Hello and welcome to Anton's Music. My name's Jack and this is... Craig from TC Helicon. Oh, so smooth, it's lovely. <laughs> um, we're here to look at a new product called the MP76, which follows on... Um, oh, beautifully displayed. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, my, my fingers manicured enough to you know do the display. Those of you savvy <laughs> with it uh, might realise there was an MP75 that's been out um, for a couple of years that which, had... Um, which looked like... That much. Yeah, so it had a button on it and it was uh, useful for controlling a function on uh, the TC Helicon gear. Yeah. Um, but we've got this new microphone. What does it do, mate? Uh, essentially, we've just expanded on that idea. So we put, um, I'll show it to you guys here, we've put an LED display in it, displays your preset number of whatever preset you're currently on, and then we've got four buttons. So you've got your main mic control button that you're used to from the other stuff, and then three other ones that come out of the box defined in a certain way and then can be changed as well. That's so great. So pretty it's pretty sweet. It's taking people with floor-based products or even yep. this, uh, we've got a Voice Live Touch 2 here. Yep. Um, uh, it allows you to control way more things on the on the mic. And, exactly. Uh, the idea run is, about, is run around. Yeah. yeah. I mean, have fun. Don't be tied lunge. To, to lunge. Exactly. Do, you know, yeah. stretching, yoga, anything That's you want. Good. Um, the idea of getting tied to the location of the vocal processor, I think, l sometimes limits the ability for a singer to engage with the crowd or anything yeah. like that. But if they have the control for the effects they want in their hand, they can do it wherever they are. And that's super kind of impressive. Well, so so it, it's already mapped out to control some things. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you want to show us some of the bits? For sure. It does? Yeah, I'll yeah. See, I can kind of get out to the camera here. Um, so it will do preset up and preset down. So as you, you see, I'm pressing the buttons here, the LED segment increments and then the preset on the box actually changes so you know i've got I am the egg man. and you got that preset then you go on to i got a feeling right off of just changing it on the mic there cool. um and you couldn't do that before no you couldn't do that you, you could know. you could assign only preset up right or like you just had the one button exactly or only the hit button yeah, whereas can. this one i can i can turn on the hard tune oh. You can change the set list and not be, yeah. Exactly. Cool. You can get in here and you can take it from the default settings and set it to custom. And then it allows you to say, okay, MP76 top button, that's this one. Mm -hmm. What do I want that to do? Well, you could say I want that to make a loop. So now you can say I push the button, it starts recording a loop. And now it's playing loop back. Now I'm recording an overdub. So you, could, you could be a you beatboxer just, yeah, exactly. really lunging. Yeah, really but, lunging. I mean, I mean, like full-blown lunging. Um, but that turns it into a one-button looper. There's obviously all sorts of other controls in here. Um, you, can, you can set well, you've up... You've got everything there, haven't you? Yeah, so you've got... Oh, um, oh you moved it. Sorry, I was not saying word. Um, you, uh, you've got loop, stop, and clear, and undo. So if you wanted to have all four buttons do the individual loop controls, you can do that as well. So really that, nice. Yeah, so, in, so instead so of having to So even if you had, uh, say, foot control, or yep. you were using it, um, might be worth getting anyway. Like if, yeah, if, of course. If, yeah. That's, that's Any time cool. that you feel like the freedom of movement would afford you a better performance, and I think that, that we're would... looping. Haven't had a play with it today, yeah. and in the past with them. I think anything you can match. The more choices you've got on the mic, on your feet, or on your hands, yeah. the more choices you've got, uh, the better. More likely you are to use it and to use it properly as well. Exactly. It yeah. Just makes your performance more. more and better. and the mic itself. Yeah. Is there anything special about the mic? It's a super card pattern super cardio so it rejects really well um people get have to get used to these a little bit you got to be right up on the mic otherwise when you're far you know this far yeah. away you can't hear it so proper mic technique so, is so actually that's really of, good for um you know game before feedback isn't it exactly yeah yeah so and you can get it louder supposedly without it feeding back one of the things about the harmony processors that we do is that they need to really just hear your lead vocal as clearly as they can and not a lot of other stuff from around mm -hmm. so these things reject really well for those circumstances where you want the harmonies to really work properly cool so yeah. so even if you were experienced say you had, had a mic and you were just you had this product yeah and you just wanted to buy a new microphone you didn't even see like i play piano yeah maybe i'm not going to get my hands on there a lot but that maybe if i'm in a loud band with a couple other guys yeah for and sure that, that rejection might help as well it, it might definitely be worth trying helps. it out for sure especially over a, like a regular cardioid pattern that you get in sort of most dynamics that people will buy as their first dynamic yeah yeah definitely lovely cool i have an ur no i don't have an urgent <laughs> news <laughs> broker. But I am going to wrap up the video what we've just done on this lovely new microphone, MP76. I just wanted to check, um, when's it coming out? It's available now. Awesome. Yep. How much is it going to be? No idea. Cool. 119 pounds. 119 yes! pounds comes, it's the Bruce voice of Almighty. God. Yeah, Bruce Almighty. Almighty. There. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> You're a doll, Bruce. <laughs> he is a doll. The livid doll. Um, <laughs> Does it come with anything? A case? Yeah, you get a case. A uh, fancy little case like this one. So cool. nice and padded on the inside. So you could put my deodorant in there. You could... Mm, 
I don't know. You might have to uh, tear it apart a bit. Rock salt? No, no. Unfortunately, no rock, salt. rock salt. I'm uh, sorry. But it'll work for a microphone. It would work for a microphone. How, yeah. how do you want to end this video? Um, it requires a, uh, a 1.21 gigawatt battery um, that yeah. you can only get if you own your own flux capacitor. So you have to find a time machine nice. and therefore power it by that. Is there a um, voice that would match that? <laughs> in uh... Uh, You know, I don't know if there is a Doc Brown voice. There, somebody can probably come up with the can Back I, to the Future voice. Can I just touch? Voice I've touched. <laughs> can I just touch on the fact that I did catch you beforehand looking at some uh, rather idiosyncratic voices? Yes, um, uh, yes, I did. Can you uh, can you get there and? So we had like the Jabba the Hutt voice. Come on. <laughs> now of course somebody's gonna act. Some real yeah. nerd. I mean beyond my nerd. Um, even though yeah. I'm wearing a Transformer shirt, will so, will catch. I'm wearing an shirt. So. Exactly. I don't actually <laughs> know how Jabba the Hutt speaks, but he does something like. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> Could you please? I'm just going to leave now. Okay. Yeah. Um, and never speak to you again. Okay. Excellent. I've, I've, my but cred is gone. Can out you the speak window. to the rest of YouTube and yeah. just say something in um, that language, uh, just to just <laughs> sign off the video? Real pleasure. Real pleasure. Uh, or at least I think. Or, it or was. yeah, something yeah. like that. All See right. you, mate. <laughs> now I'll just sit here and do the awkward pause. <laughs>